When I see something to him, because he's parked in the middle of the road and cars are going around him, now he wants to turn on his emergency lights. Turning on your emergency lights doesn't create an emergency. I would really appreciate if you abide by the law. All right, you'll learn who I am. You need to go ask your police captain about me. Okay, all right. Now, we was blocking the road, what happened to us? They think they're above the law. To ask them to move the car on the road, they're blocking traffic in your neighborhood. We're paying them. We're paying them. We're, we're paying them right now. Our tax dollars. They're putting our community in danger by doing this. The anger is real out here, folks. Now, this is some above the law type stuff. I'm going to let you guys see the cars that have to literally go in the opposite lane of direction because this deputy here, watch this car here. Literally have to ride in the opposite lane of traffic. Another car. Hopefully a car isn't coming from the proper lane to go south in the southbound lane and having cars going north in the northbound in the southbound lane. So he turns on his emergency lights when I address him for parking in the road. I wasn't gonna record it. I was just gonna let him know that hey, we all have to be accountable. So instead of him moving the car, instead of him moving the car, he turns on his emergency light, which hasn't stopped the issue of possible traffic hazards and on and oncoming traffic in the in the wrong lane. So this is the Miami Dade Police Department. The car is 2763A. What's your name and your badge number? Car 2763A. Your name and your badge number? Your badge number, please. There might be more than one Smith. Refuses to ID. Officer Smith, 2763A, Miami-Dade Police Department. Refuses to move his vehicle out of the lane of traffic, forcing other cars to go in the opposite lane to travel on their way. When I address him about parking here, he then turned on his emergency lights as a form of, I guess, disobedience to the, the public. He's going to show me who's boss because he has the emergency lights, which now are an abuse of that system. Also, he can chat it up with his partner here. Officer Smith, Miami-Dade Police Department. He's driving car 2763A. He refuses to fully identify. So now I've been recording for approximately four minutes and he's still parked in the spot, creating traffic hazards. Enforce the law. I don't, your job is to enforce that law. But right now, look at this. Look, look, look behind you. You're completely blocking traffic. Now you have your door open. 
you're completely forcing other cars to go in the opposite direction while cars are going in the correct direction. No standing in the middle of the road, sir. That, that, that statue, how about that? You can park correctly and talk to him. Either way it go, you're going to get paid, but why not be accountable? Because if someone from the neighborhood was doing the exact same thing, you would... If someone from the neighborhood was doing the exact same thing, you would absolutely say something to them. You would run their name. You would run the car. You would absolutely enforce that. You would. All you have to do is park correctly. Why? Because I'm asking you to park correctly? Is that the only reason why you won't? This is my community. These are our children. You're creating, in my opinion, a very dangerous hazard. All you have to do is park. That, that's what you're worried about. It's park. That's all I'm worried about is my community. I don't know you. I'm Smith. I know my community. I'm concerned. Look, I know you guys don't believe that black men actually are concerned about their neighborhoods, but I am. But I am. But that was a very sarcastic comment that you made. That was very sarcastic when you said, is that all I'm worried about? That's the only thing that matters to me is my children. Me That's the only thing you care to worry about. You didn't care about the I care about you right now creating a hazard in my community. I can address that. But right now, it's not, it's not creating a hazard. You are. Show me the affidavit for a sworn complaint against him. Show me a victim. Show me a victim. I'm hoping there won't be one. I'm really hoping there won't be one. I'm really, I'm, it's not about the crime, it's the potential of harm. It's the, I'm sorry? Are you serious about that? Are you sure about that? Oh, okay. Okay. So I can't be a, I can't be a victim of circumstances. I can't be a victim of an illness. I can't be a victim. I can't be a victim of a of a train of plane crash. That's not the same concept. I'm done talking. I'm done talking. Now you're moving the goalposts. Now you're moving the goalposts. So there is more than one definition of a victim. It doesn't have to be crime. You don't want any of this verbally, buddy. Okay, we're now seven minutes into the video. He's asking me why don't I say something to a civilian who's parked somewhere. I'm not sure where, which car he's talking about. I don't know, I don't see it. Um, but right now, I don't pay those people. I can't make those people do something because I don't pay them. I pay them to enforce the law that he obviously said he sees is being violated. So why won't he enforce that? Why is he asking me to enforce something that I'm paying him to enforce? Doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And then you have the cop explainer here, who's parked correctly, I might add. Let's see what that sign is. Ah, no parking anytime sign. Oh my God. It doesn't say for law enforcement. It says no parking anytime. So I was just giving this guy kudos. Let me get that there. I was just giving this guy kudos for park correctly. And no parking anytime, and you can hear him screaming out the window. I'm not parked. Look, park to me he hasn't moved in seven, eight minutes. So I don't know what he would call that. But I was just giving this guy kudos for at least being parked correctly. And then I look at the sign that the city put up here, which is an ordinance, which these people are all the time being charged with ordinances violations. Everyone here, I'm sure, at some point has been charged or, or, or accused or harassed for ordinance violation. That's exactly what that sign is right there, ordinance. Look. That's what you want, them to be charged for the violation? 
I want everybody to be accountable, especially the I want people. Everybody to be accountable. Especially the people whose the job is to uphold accountability. Especially okay. those people. Okay. I want everybody. I served in the military for accountability. You are no I. better. You are no what better than them. For? You are no better than them. They are no better than Nobody you. Said that. The law is supreme. Please just do the right thing. Set an example. Set an example. Set an example now. Do it. You know me. I got a lot of subscribers. Don't ask for something. Show. I want you to enforce your job. You want me to enforce the law. Absolutely. But I also want you. Hey. But I also want you to. Right I also hand. want you to police the community. Sounding like threats to me. Sound like you're making it's threats. threats but That's what it sounds like. Yeah, like you said, right? That's what it sounds like. We can have a conversation and you can just do the right thing. You're going to do what you do anyway. I have no control over that. But I'm asking you to please set an example. That's what I do out here. Okay, it will be done. Then have a nice day, all right? Okay, well, nice I'll wait. And I'm adamant and I'm passionate because this is for real to me. Okay. I, I told you it's going to be done. Don't worry about it. Do what you do. Perfect opportunities for us to work together, to build the relationships that you guys need in this community. We can do it. We can build that so that guy will tell you who did wrong. So I feel safe to tell you who did something wrong. Build a relationship. Don't just govern. Participate with us. We want to help you guys. We hate crime. I want my kids to be able to play like I used to play in the field. I want the bad guys gone. I want to help you, but I can't continue to be a victim to you. Come on, man. Build these relationships. Let's work together. I'm not anti-cop. I'm pro-United States. Together. Set an example. Guys, I'm getting myself worked up. It's not going to happen. I wish it would. I thought I'd have an opportunity to uh, catch these people doing the right thing, sinking into them, but I'm sounding like a damn fool, yelling and screaming. And to myself, I apologize for that. I'm going to end this right now. It's been long enough. Uh, about, I guess about almost 15 minutes. Nothing has changed. They don't care. Big Nick South Florida accountability. Extremely disappointed. Whew. I will keep fighting, though. Out. Since justice is blind, I'm about to go some glasses. I'm pulling on the up chunks and coming after your badge. Crooked officer, Mr. Arms, Mr. Officer, Crooked Officer. Why you wanna yeah. put me in the car? Yeah. Yeah. See, I've been living in this neighborhood for too long. Yeah.